My honest feeling is that uh, there isn't a huge amount of awareness about the upcoming European data protection regulations. I think there's a top level knowledge that something's going on, but really in terms of understanding the detail, I don't think that there's enough awareness, certainly amongst many of the brands that I speak with at the moment. In terms of where brands need to be uh, placing this on their areas of priorities, I think it really needs to be up there. Uh, as soon as the regulation is passed, uh, companies will have two years to, to, to follow all of those regulations and it's no easy task to make sure that you're complying with all the regulations as they will come out. So it's really important to make sure that it's high on the agenda, not only of marketing but across the whole of the organisation. The first step that uh, everybody involved in the ecosystem, whether that's a brand or an agency or a publisher, needs to do is to really understand the data that they currently have where that data was collected from, how it's been kept, who has access to it. So almost doing this full audit of the information that they've got today. That's the starting point that I'd recommend that companies do. Uh, one of the key things uh, that is driving uh, the data protection regulations in Europe is consumer confidence. Consumer confidence and awareness in what's happening with the data that they've got, uh, where that's been kept. Uh, and I think that's really, really the core part that uh, the companies need to be looking at. They need to make sure they're building trust with their consumers and their prospects uh, to make sure that they're being transparent with what information they're collecting and how they're using that information. A key thing for me is that this is a start of a journey. Uh, companies will have two years to uh, comply with the regulations. Uh, so it's really important that companies are looking at that today, not leaving it to the last minute. I think there's a huge amount of information out there. Uh, and uh, spending time and understanding uh, what you need to do and what you need to comply to is, uh, is critical. We're going to look at it from two angles. We're going to take it from the publisher perspective, but also from the brand perspective to see how marketers can harness the power of this, the fastest growing of the marketing disciplines.